Hi, this is Derek Bennett Witt. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. I'm having a pretty relaxed day so far. And just, <coughs> excuse me, a quick update. I spent most of today working on a Chinese cast on, on knitting. Now, I knit right-handed because I learned from YouTube videos and it just didn't even dawn on me that there's a right or left-handed way of knitting. And I crochet left-handed because I learned from someone in person who was able to learn left-handed. Actually, my friend Drew is the one that taught me how to crochet. And, but the Chinese cast-on is a combination of knitting and crocheting for the initial cast-on. And it does make a really nice looking um, edge. Because this is, I mean, it's just, it, it's very much, it's neater and smoother than generally um, my cast on edges are and I like it and I don't have to worry with the long tail cast on I have sometimes like I will sit there and wrap the yarn and count how many times around it needs to go and it's never right it's always either too short or too long and I can cast on with the same length two times in a row and have two very much very different amounts of yarn left over at the end of it so the neat thing with the Chinese cast on is you don't have to worry about that. So it, it was a little awkward when I first did it. So the first time casting on 216 stitches took um, like an hour and a half. Of course, I'm also multitasking at the same time, doing other things and watching YouTube videos and dealing with the furry little dictators. Um, got it on was working with it, was, um, and I had to back up a couple stitches on, like, two rows into making the cardigan and drop stitches. And I was able to pick up the first couple, and then I dropped some more, and then it was like, okay, let's just start over. And the second time, it was just, it was a lot easier. It went by a lot quicker. So I'm only one row in on my, the cardigan, which is, I'm, I have to do half inch or three quarters of an inch of rib stitching and then I go to the next thing which is three rows of garter stitch with some increases and then I'd have to flip a page and I'm not sure it goes next. So that's what I've been working on primarily most of today. Um, not on any time crunch so I can take my time with it but I'm making it out of the Bernat home deck yarn the Bernat maker home deck which this style of yarn is some of my favorite yarn it is that jersey t-shirt material and it's a bulky five but it's not that much bigger than you know it's not really that big and I am using kind of the bigger needles I did my initial um, gauge swatch and used smaller needles to get to the correct gauge and then I realized you know what I'm pretty sure that they're giving me women's sizes so let me go ahead and go back up to the bigger needles work because I'd rather be too big than too small because it's always fun you know I like a big sweater or hoodie that I can get lost in so my only other project that I've been doing of course you know going back to the scrunchies when you know I like them they're, they're quick they're they're really no-brainer I don't have to follow a pattern so, and I'm going through kind of my, my scrap balls of yarn and just making different uh, scrunchies out of them so that I can get a nice stock built up. Is I've created a Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Derek the Nitwit. Uh, if you just go in and go search Derek the Nitwit on one word, it's going to take you to my page. Or you can just put facebook.com forward slash Derek the Nitwit. And, I mean, like right now, honestly, I have two posts. One is a picture of my cardigan, and the other is the scrunchies mentioning that I am going to try. I've given up on the Etsy shop. You know, they charge too much. So I figured maybe if I can get the um, the Facebook page out there, then I can get, you know, I can sell things through that. Like So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the scrunchies, 75 cents each, or three for $2. I figure I was at Walmart yesterday. And that looks like that's about a decent price for them. So, and like I said, you know, if I sell anything, it's just a bonus. I do it for the stress relief, for things, you know, for how it, it helps with anxiety and whatnot, and because it's fun. So, like, you know, if I make 
if I make enough money to recoup the cost of the yarn, then I'm ahead of the game. So, so that is pretty much what I've been doing today. And just chilling out at home, relaxing, enjoying the fact that it's the weekend and no one's going to be calling me and begging me. And I don't have to go anywhere, and I need to remember to message my doctor about the lab so that they get the lab orders put in. So, that's where I am. Um, there is, I know everyone knows about, you know, Lori's Crochet Quarter 2 and her new page and the, the things with that. I haven't been one to point out, say, hey, you know, go subscribe over there. Because there's so many people that have so many more subscribers than me, and um, they, you know, pretty much anyone that I'm going to tell is already following the other channels that have been doing it and I you know I just hadn't really gotten around to it the thing is right now she needs I mean everyone needs subscribers to watch ours and that's what I'm doing she just needs she needs a love ball like we did with um Charlene yesterday we need to do with Lisa today just go over there show her some love and just you know everyone just get out and love bomber and just in case you aren't following her, I will put a link down in the description. Just all you have to do is click on that link. It takes you straight to our page. So, anyway, hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi, this is Derek. Hi, this is a new segment I'm going to start called Mail Call because I get a ton of stuff from eBay. And today we have three unopened packages and two that the packages were already kind of open when I got them. So we'll start with these two. This one, I already know what it is, is a little case. It's got metal straws. Look at these. These are gorgeous. They are rainbow colored. I've got the super long spoon. Of course, you've got the cleaning brush. We've got a fat one for boba or for milkshakes. A skinny straight one and a skinny bit one. And it comes in this neat little whoa, everything, little case and a little pouch to put it in. So that is awesome because everyone knows you you know, we're trying to cut back on the use of plastic. Although the, the trendy thing now is straws, but I've been collecting metal straws for a while. So. And then I've got a pair of, these are touch screen gloves. I've got a pair already, but they're not stretchy like this. Oh, and these have grippy on them. So these fit better. So, I have another phone up here. Oh, and the, the, the touch screen part is on both sides of the fingers that they're on it's just the first three that is nice and then it's got the grippy i mean it's not going to stick completely but it does keep you from worrying about losing them and they fit and there's no gaps if you are there so i really like these these are going to replace the gloves that i already have which means those can go in a donation box and now we get into this stuff and ah it's the little shedding brush for my cats the I love it the custom thing says hand, horn handmade because my cats I have the This is the one Max is absolutely in love with. And this is my new one that I really like. And, oh, and now there's hair flying everywhere. And those are good. But this one I'm hoping that will help, you know, with the hair, you know, just, you know, a little bit faster or just as much. Matt, a little miss is not so sure about grooming yet. So we're still working on that. She puts up with it for a little bit. And then, so this one came from Amazon, and they misdelivered it. I had to go get it off my neighbor's door. Oh, my lip balm tray. Yay. Um, I like making my own lip balm. And it's, it's a simple recipe. It's just, um, I do it in small batches. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And I do, it's two tablespoons of solid coconut oil, two tablespoons of beeswax pellets, and a little bit kind of, you know, maybe a tablespoon of a liquid um, coconut oil or olive oil or almond oil, you know, whatever I'm feeling like. And then my essential oil. And I usually use lavender and rosemary. And this will make it a lot easier to fill the little chapstick tubes. Okay, and then this is the last one that came in the mail. I've still got Amazon. has got some packages out for delivery, but those are boring ones like, you know, cat food. Ooh, I'm in love. This is my package I've been waiting on that came from Britain. Ruby Kit Kat. Ah, uh, because that raspberry Kit Kat yesterday, it was raspberry. It was not Ruby. This. Ruby Kit Kat. I'm so happy. I got three of them. And I will have to ration them. Because it was like seven bucks for the three of them, which, to be honest, wasn't that bad of a price. And it took a couple weeks to get here, but coming from Britain, you know. But there are Kit Kat made with natural ruby cocoa, cocoa beans. It's a new, delicious, and unique berry flavor. So I am excited. So anyway, that is my mail for today. None of it was knitting, but there was some craft stuff in there. But still, you know, things that make me happy. And I'm excited about them. And I will check in with you a little bit later today. So you can see what else I've been doing.